All right, all right. This is Jose Trujillo, world's greatest sleeping artist. Welcome. The crowd goes wild. Welcome, guys, to Art Marketing Tuesday. Today, I get to talk to you guys about art marketing. Those of you who follow, follow. Those of you who share, share. Those of you who, uh, I don't know, like just like hanging out with your host, moi. Come and hang out. Look at this awesome hair. Man, I'm good looking. Muy guapo, muchacho. So, today I get to talk to you about art marketing. Okay? I'm going to give you a step-by-step. -step, three simple steps. Here's, I, I found the title right here. I have a cool title. I made this title up. Check it out. Three simple steps to get started with marketing. With your marketing. Marketing for what? For art. Art marketing. Okay? Three simple steps to get you started. Why do I say three simple steps? Because most people want to get started knowing it all. And therefore, never get started. And if you do get started, you'll drop it like a hot iron. Right? Many people do this. They drop it like a hot iron. Because, what is it? <laughs> because it's difficult because it's a lot of work because it's work it's work showing up every day it's work going in and, and implementing any of the many strategies I'm going to talk to you guys about strategies but the reason why I don't like to talk about strategy first those of you who follow me already know this is because people get lost in the strategies and what I want to talk about first most important is getting your muscle ready getting your muscle ready so that when you are confronted with a strategy when you are given handed a strategy which information's cheap guys there's i mean just go and get a book it's full of great information how to do facebook how to do instagram how to do youtube it's free it's relatively free it's cheap implementing it now that's that's where the boys are separate are separated from the men that's different Implementing any of those strategies, any of those techniques, is a very difficult deal. It's not as easy. So that's why I, when I talk about this, I talk about it from a look. Do not worry about strategies. Do not worry about techniques right now. Okay, this is Art Marketing Tuesday. Do not worry about that. Don't be thinking about that yet. It's too early in the game to be thinking about that. Okay? Uh, it's like... It's like going on a diet, not going on a diet, like going in and trying to be like, trying to get buff. I learned this from a professional trainer. This guy's like, dude, you don't start by introduce yourself if you're going to. No, I'm hang like out. trying to avoid coming out on the camera, and oh. I, but like the, where the bubble wrap is, it's like right behind you. Yeah. This professional trainer told me, look, dude. You don't start by dieting. You don't start by cutting out certain foods and on and on and on. You don't start there. You run, he said. You start by running. <laughs> you start by doing something, physical movement. Not a lot. Because you don't, you don't even have the strength for it. But you start doing physical movement. All right, 30 minutes of it, an hour, 15 minutes, whatever your, your body, right, you can handle at the time. So that's what I'm going to start doing. Okay? So that's how it is. So in marketing, it's the same way, guys, okay? I'm talking about marketing today. Today's Marketing Tuesday. Three simple steps to get uh, uh, to uh, get you started with marketing, okay? So the first one is identify what you want. Identify your goal. What is it that you want, okay? Now, this doesn't have to be clear. It doesn't have to be crystal clear. What I mean by identify, I'm talking about Put an aim to it. Is it a little goal? Is it a medium-sized goal? Is it a big goal? It doesn't matter. Just put a name. For example, okay, I'm going to give you an example. On Facebook, right? Uh, I want 100,000 followers on Facebook or likes on my fan page. I want that, right? That's like something that I want. Uh, right now, I have a little bit over 10,000 so what is it going to take, right? So I start with a goal. 
I know this is simple. It's it's like, dude, come on. I know, but bear with me, okay? My, I'm a simple guy. I like simple stuff. If it's complicated, I don't like it. I don't like complicated stuff. Okay? So start with a target. Let's say that you're starting on Facebook and you're like, oh, man, I only have a 1,000 followers, a 1,000 likes, friends, or whatever you call them on your fan page. Or maybe you only have 500. Or maybe you only have 100. Then, then maybe 1,000 or 200, whatever is your goal. So, so you have to, you have to, you have to get started with that. Identify what you want. I, I have a hundred followers. I want a thousand. Okay, you've identified the target. Okay, number two. By the way, I didn't, I didn't come up with this. I learned this. Okay, from a mentor. Number two. What is, uh, you have to identify. Okay, identify what is in your way. You have to figure out what's in your way. I know this is different. I know you guys are probably thinking, oh, he's going to tell us the secret to, to Facebook. He's going to tell us the secret to Instagram, the secret to YouTube. Ain't no secret, man. It's just hard work. And what I want to do is I want to prepare you guys in a step-by-step -step as to how you build a muscle. Because you can't win it unless you win this first. It's Barry Braveheart <laughs> with crazy mouth. <laughs> you can't win it unless you win this first. Yeah, you have to win this first, and you have to create the, the discipline. Okay, you have this taken care of, and then you create the discipline. And then, when you get a strategy or a technique, you're able to follow through. What most people do is that they try to get the, the technique first, but this and this is not handled. So then they can't they can't follow through. It's impossible. They do it for a week, and then they 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 you know they stop. They do it for a month and, uh, and they'll stop. It doesn't matter. Maybe you, you've been doing it for a year. And then after the year, because there's not enough, you know, remembering, push, let's do this. You're going to drop it. Or you're not able to meet the opportunity. Or you're not because able to meet the opportunity. you did do something effective when you marketed, but you don't have enough paintings. Right. Or you don't have any product. That's right. Or you don't have the things that they're asking you to have that, to make that's right. the opportunity happen. That's right. What, that's why it's so important to identify what's in your way. What I mean by this, what's in your way is what's blocking you, okay? You do, not add, add, you do not add skills first. That's why I don't talk about skills and I don't talk about techniques. Because you don't add them first. Those come later. You want to identify what's blocking you. What's blocking you? Is it the way you think? Is it the way you were raised? Is, it, is society blocking you? You know, the ideas of society? Like, oh, don't share. You're going to appear as a spammer. Is... Uh, Maybe your lack of uh, commitment. You don't show up every day to the art studio. That's a problem. If you're an artist and you're not showing up daily to your art studio, at least showing up. I'm not even talking about working hard. At least showing up. It's a problem. It's a big problem. You have a monumental problem. So, so you have to... And monumental in the sense of art, okay? I'm not talking about your life or anything like that. Okay, nothing's too big in life. But in the sense of work. So you have to identify. Identify the blocks. What's stopping you? What is it? Is it the way that maybe the industry? Is it the industry? Because maybe the industry says you should only paint this. You can't paint that. And if you're painting this, you should only offer it to this type of people. Or this, this, this consumer base. You can't offer something on Facebook that you're offering in a gallery. And on and on and on. You know, all this mixed up ideas. So you have to identify the blocks. What is stopping you? Maybe the person you're sleeping with is stopping you. Maybe the person you're sleeping with says, stop working so much. You're working so much. You know? That's, that, you have a challenge there if that's happening. You have to handle that. Right? You have to handle that. You have to be like, you know what? You have to, you have to get on board with me. And you have to be committed. You have to be extremely committed so that that doesn't happen. So that the person sees your fire. Right? Your, your, your spouse, your partner. They see your, your fire. And they're like, dude, I want to ride that. I want to ride that with you. I want to ride that. I, I want to be part of that. You seem so motivated. You seem full of fire. All of a sudden, you start creating opportunities and whatnot. And then the person next to you no longer tries to suppress you. The person next to you wants to ride with you. They want to be part of it. Maybe it's your personality. Maybe your personality is, is very... Um, you, you don't want to try new things. You don't, want to, you don't want to be uncomfortable. Maybe you don't want to grow. Maybe you're fine where you are. Maybe it's your character, you know. 
It, it, all those things can change and mold. You can mold them and change it, but you have to identify, okay? You have to identify what's stopping you. Now notice, I'm not saying go add skills, go learn Facebook, go learn Instagram, go do this, go do that. It's, 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 uh, it's counterproductive. It's like saying, I'm going to go get strength or I'm going to go get a technique of how to lift weights, right? I'm going to go get a technique. I'm going to get all my ducks in the row and, and then I'm going to go try to do some exercise. It's the other way around. Most people that get really good at it, 99% of people that get good at anything, they started doing it without knowing it. Michael Jordan didn't say, oh, I'm going to learn the technique of, of basketball first. No, he probably start playing with his buddies or, you know, I don't know his life, but I'm sure most people, you know, I didn't, I didn't start out by the, the perfect technique to painting. No, I started playing with it. As a kid, right? As a, as a child, playing with it. And it's something that I did it more, and then I did it more, and then I build a muscle. Because there's a muscle that you have to build to finish your first picture, right? Your first painting or whatever. There's a muscle that you build. The muscle is that, is that you have to go through it even though you don't know what it looks like, what it's going to look like. Those of you who are, create artwork, you know what I'm talking about. You have to learn that. You have to create the muscle to suspend yourself from not believing to believing, to saying, oh, it's going to look like something. Because most people give up. Most people start a painting that are not painters or, or never develop that. They'll start a painting. They're like, it's not looking what I, that the way I wanted it to look. I'm just going to. That's why a lot of people say, a lot of people have this idea that, that say, well, a painting's never finished. It's never finished because you never finished one. You know, a painting is finished. You, you, you raise your hand and you say when it's finished. A lot of people get these ideas from the old artists that are like, a painting's never finished. They're talking from an esoteric point of view, from a pragmatic stance, from a logical, pragmatic way of looking at the world. It's finished. It's no longer even mine. It's gone. You know, the image is yours, sure, whatever, but the painting is no longer yours. It's gone. Someone else paid for it. You gave it away. You threw it away. I don't know. You forgot it somewhere. It's gone. It's no longer in your possession. So without going on a rant on that side, identify what is in your way. This is the most important thing to do. Okay. Out of the three that I'm going to give you. The third one is remove those blocks. Okay. You have to remove them. That's why I say number two is the most important one. Number two, they're all important. But number two, identifying them is very important because you don't even know what they are unless you start doing. See, you won't find out what even the blocks are unless you start doing the work. That's why it's so crucial, like Nike says, just do it. If You just start doing the work. So the third one is remove the blocks. How do you do that? Very simple. You find out what no one else is willing to do. As long as it's ethical. What no one else is willing to do. One of the reasons I started I started marketing my work and creating some success for myself in, the, in uh, six years ago. Uh, selling artwork and marketing myself. is because I started doing what no one else was doing. No one else was willing to talk to as many people as I was. At least in my circles. No one else was willing to paint as much as I was painting. I was painting up to 15, 16 hours a day, the whole day. No one else was working on a Sunday. Oh, no, you can't work on I worked on a Sunday. You know, no one else was doing what I was willing to do. I saw that, okay, what, are, what is my industry not willing to do? And then I'll go fill that gap. And that's, that, that's how things start happening. You start realizing that there's a lot of blocks. What most people want to do is like, They'll go and they're like, oh, okay, here, let me try to learn YouTube. I'll learn YouTube. Okay, how do you how do you do it in YouTube? There ain't no how to do it yet. You're not even there yet. Slow down. Come back. Come back to me. Get your phone. No, 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 no. How do you how do you really blog? Do you get what cameras and blah blah blah? Those are questions when you already have built the 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 the, the persistence and the work ethic. Those are questions you start asking yourself. Okay, what type of lights and on and on. See, those things come out of the doing. They come out of the doing. They don't come out in the beginning. In the beginning, if you want to figure out YouTube, you're asking yourself the wrong question. What you need to do is pull out your phone, boom, hit record, and start talking about your painting or start painting or talk about a subject in your artwork or whatever, something in your process about being an artist. Introduce yourself to the world. Uh, maybe, I don't know, 50 people will see it. 
maybe a thousand, maybe you go viral, who knows? But it, none of that is important. What's important is that you build a muscle. You start building the muscle. It's the most, it's the single most important thing that you build a muscle. That's why I don't talk. I'm going to say it again. That's why I don't talk about strategies and techniques because they're, they're, it's irrelevant. They make no sense. Like, oh, here, go upload a YouTube video and then put these hashtags and then go tag someone. And then it's irrelevant. All of that, is, it sounds great. It's good stuff. It's great info. But it's irrelevant if you don't have the muscle. If you have the muscle, any of the techniques available or the thousands of techniques available, you're going to use. Any of them. It's like talking about the piano before learning how to play the piano. Like, what's the best piano to play? Dude, learn how to play first. Develop the, 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 the persistence and the, the, the character of showing up every day and playing with the piano, playing with the piano, playing with the piano. Till you get to the point where you're like, man, you know what, I'm gonna take some, I'm gonna take some lessons. And then you learn how to play the piano. But you don't go, should I get a, a bald a Baldwin, I think they're called, or or whatever, you know, whatever the pianos are called. I don't know. I I I'm a guitarist. I should have talked about guitars. Uh it's the same thing, right? Fender or Gibson. Which guitar should I get? Well, what do you play normally? Uh, I don't know how to play. Oh, shit, man. Go go learn how to play first. And then... And then <laughs> this is what most people do. They're like, they're like, Fender or Gibson? Which one should I do? And, and what's the best finger-picking technique? Uh, do you play? No, I, I don't play. I want to learn how to play. Oh, dude. Uh, forget about it. It's a 10-year, 20-year process. A lifetime. Like, just learn how to play first. And then the techniques and the finger picking, learn how to, how learning how to use a slide. And you know, that, see, it makes more sense when I talk about stuff that I know. Learning how to use a slide, uh, tapping, you know, doing, uh, I don't know, metal, flamenco, jazz, whatever. All those things, all those things will come into play. What's the best, what's the best uh, amplifier? Should I get the Fender, uh, I don't know, uh, Deluxe, the Tweet, I think it's the Tweet Deluxe, or should I get the, the Marshall stack? Uh, this, this was used to, is there questions that I used to ask and other people used to ask me when I was a musician. Uh, do you play? My answer was always, well, what do you play with normally? What, what are you playing right now with? Uh, I don't play. I want to learn how to play, but which one should I get? I'm like, dude, what does it matter? Like, if you don't know how to play, it doesn't matter. Like, it, it does not matter at all. What matters is that you show up every day and you practice two or three hours, one hour, whatever, how, however much commitment you're going to put in, right? 30 minutes. That's what matters. Learn how to put the commitment in and go for it and go for it and go for it. It's the same thing with painting. Learn how to put the commitment in. And go and go and go. And then you go into strategies. It's the same thing with YouTube, with Instagram. How do, how do I get Instagram to work? I don't know. I, I, I personally don't know. I, I think I'm doing all the wrong things you're supposed to do. I personally don't know. But I, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to use it. I'm going to abuse it. Literally, abuse it. I'm going to abuse the platform. I'm going to use it so much that people are like, dude, it's you again? Oh, my God. What do you want? Until I start figuring it out. Play what you're feeling. Totally. So I'm going to run again. I'm going to run to you guys. The three steps. Okay. Three simple steps to uh, get started with your art marketing. Your artwork marketing. Number one, identify your target. What is your target? My target is going to be... And it doesn't have to be a huge target in the beginning. It could be something, you know, something that you can get started with. Uh, if you're not doing anything or if you're doing it very poorly, uh, it could be, I want, I don't know, 10,000 followers on Instagram. Okay. Well, that's your target. Okay. Now, number two, identify what is, what is in your way. Okay. What's in your way? Uh, not don't go and try to learn Instagram and the best techniques and on and on. No. What's in your way? Do you, do you, do you complain all the time that you don't have enough time? That's more important than going and learning an effing technique. You see what I'm talking about? I know I sound ranty, but that's just the way I talk. What's more important? Is it, is it more important to go learn a, te a technique or identify and handle your shit? Handle yourself because you're always complaining that you don't have enough time. I believe that that's more important, right? So identify the block. 
What's the block? I don't have enough time. Uh, well, I would handle that first before I would go and get a technique or go go learn how to use it. Uh, what's another What's another block? What's another thing that's that's uh, you have to identify the blocks. What's stopping you? Uh, other than time, because because we all complain about time, but we we always have time for the things we want. It's a funny thing. Uh, what's another What's another block? Uh, I don't have enough work to share on Instagram, so therefore I'm not going to use it yet. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to go learn how to use it, and when I get paintings, I'll start sharing them. But first, I'm going to go learn how to use it. See what I mean? That's bullshit. This doesn't doesn't work like that. If you don't have artwork, then share something else. Share your drawings. Maybe they're not paintings. Maybe they're just little drawings. Share your drawings. Share the paints you like. You know, but start, start start identifying what's stopping you. Do not go try to get skills. This is why I'm against going and getting skills. Well, isn't it? Don't you create the skill by the doing? You, that's the only way. Like I can't, I can't like read a book on swimming and then be like, I know how to swim. Right. <laughs> right? You have to jump exactly. The pool and, and then when you learn how to swim, you can read a book about swimming. And perfect your your strategy if you want to. Exactly. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Perfect, stroke. perfect the stroke. Perfect the technique. You're now you learn how to swim. Absolutely. Now that you know how to swim, you're like, let me learn about butterfly. How do you how do you how do you backstroke or whatever? How do you do that? Or how do you perfect? And then you go and you learn technique. That's when you learn technique. You don't go learn technique first and then go swim. And then go try to learn how to swim. It doesn't work that way. You throw yourself in the water and then you figure out, you make sure you don't drown. <laughs> that's, how you, that's how most people learn, right? Uh, and then the technique comes later. So do not have skills. Okay, this is a huge mistake a lot of people do. They're like, oh, I, I'm going to go, go learn how to, do, how to do this. I'm going to go learn how to do that. I'm, I'm going to learn how to paint classically. Uh, yeah, sure. Go take a drawing class first. Go learn go, or, or go start drawing. Go make the go make the muscle. It's the muscle you want. I'm not talking about technique here, okay? It's the muscle you want. Go get, go show up. Make sure that you learn how to show up. And then you can add technique. You can add skills. You can add other stuff. Number three is remove the blocks, okay? There it is, guys. Remove the blocks. You have to find out. Maybe again, maybe it's maybe it's your girlfriend, maybe it's your boyfriend, who's like, you don't have enough time for me, and then you want to be an artist. That's a block. Or maybe, or maybe you, as a child, you were told that you never had follow through and you didn't finish anything, and that's a story that you carry around all the time that you can't finish stuff. Yeah, yeah. And you gotta tell yourself that's not true. I finish stuff all the time. That's my wife talking, saying that maybe. Maybe it's a, it's a story that, you know, your parents told you, you never finish what you start, you know? Maybe so that's playing you, in your head. You paint horribly and you feel afraid to share your work. Or... Yeah, maybe you're afraid of sharing your work. Maybe you're afraid of someone stealing your technique. Ooh, stealing the way you paint. You know, there's a lot of artists with that uh, sad story. Like, oh my God, I don't want someone to, to copy the way I paint. Maybe you have that, you know, and that's a block. That is a problem because art is all about sharing and it's all about showing. It's, it's sharing in this modern day, right? It's sharing, sharing, sharing. You share content, you share your painting, you share your style. It's all about sharing in social media. It's, it's relatively almost the only way that people are trying to get known now because the other way is too hard, which is showing up, right? Showing up to a convention, showing up to a, an art fair. Uh, going and knocking on doors. That's very hard. So I'll leave you guys with that. The name is Jose Trujillo. I'll talk to you soon. Jose Trujillo Art Studio. Five, one, nine. Well, there it is.